Hello class, let's go over the next point on our fillet as we go down. Uh, one thing I forgot to uh, mention uh, previously, however, use full preview. Um, partial preview will show you a preview if you're, you're, if you're selecting multiple uh, edges for fillets or multiple faces or multiple things. Uh, a partial preview will only uh, show you one of the, like the first um, edge or feature that you pick that fillet and then just highlight the lines or the edges or whatever you use them for the rest of them and no preview just shows the lines whatever you select without a preview but computers are fast enough these days so always use full preview all right now if we go back down to symmetric one thing uh, on symmetric that gives you an option is multi radius fillet um, that just means if I Select, we're on symmetric, we're only going to do one, and um, this only actually works, which I try to do it on uh, asymmetric. It doesn't give you the option, and you know, even if you select different profiles, it still doesn't give you the option. And the only actually on symmetric, the only two I found it to be uh, multi radius fillet was available was under uh, circular. And um, curvature continuous. Now, if I were to actually go see conic radius, it, it's not selectable anymore, and conic row, it's not selectable. So it's only under circular and curvature continuous it uses. But okay, make a long story short. What does um, I, I'm just doing symmetric with a single radius? Let me do you know five, make it smaller. Oops, fifty, no five. Um, so without having the multi-radius fillet selected. Uh, when I select multiple surfaces, they all have to be exactly the same. Uh, I could do it the old school way. If I wanted uh, this fillet here to be a different radius than this fillet and then this one, I could just do one fillet, choose radius, uh, select OK, open up another fillet, do the radius, select OK. Uh, one thing that multi-radius fillet does is allows you to select multiple you know, fillets all over your part simultaneously and then change the radius. Now you got multiple ways of uh, changing the radius. You can either select, you know, let's say this edge one, radius five, let's change that to 10. Um, I can select edge two, you know, and then change it to whatever you want, three. Um, another way to actually change your radius, just, you know, slick over here. You can click in this box and change it to, let's say 10, whatever you want to change it to. Um, and that, if I select over here, that changes it automatically on this side. So that is what the selecting the um, multi-radius uh, fillet. And like I said, it only works on symmetric and uh, circular and uh, curvature continuous.